Welcome back to Maya 2018 Basics. Today we're going to cover Boolean tools. Just a way to add and subtract objects, to essentially combine objects, okay? So let's take these objects here. We're going to go ahead and move them in in whatever way we want. These are the three examples that we're going to use here. All right, and then we're going to move that guy in there. All right, let's take a look at the first one. First Boolean, we go to Mesh, we go to Booleans. I'm going to tear this off so you can see it. Union is just another way to combine objects, just like we saw with Mesh, sorry, Merge, Target Weld, and Bridge, okay? Merge, Target Weld, Bridge, guess what? We can actually just, instead of, you know, um, doing combine object, which would be the quickest way to do it. This is actually going to deform it. So as you're going to see here with this left side here, when we hit union, first you have to select it. Select, select, order of operations. I would say general rule object that you're deforming. And then the Boolean, essentially the Boolean tool that you're dipping into it is second. Hit union. All right, there you go. So that is a combined Boolean union. Now, if we take a look at this and do the same thing and get, let's just use something simple here like this, and we move that into there, right? It's there, right? Is it in? Yes. Frame. Okay. And then we just do this and combine objects. Okay, it's one object. But notice, it did not deform it. It didn't cut it. So that's the advantage of Boolean. All right? It really takes it, takes whatever is on the out, left on the outside here and combines it. Difference from actually combining objects, but it's another way to do it. The second one here that we're going to look at is difference. So with difference, instead of keeping the top part, it's going to keep the bottom part, or rather do a, do a subtraction, if you will. Okay, so what we should be expecting is a divot, and like a pinkish divot. So let's see, difference. Now remember, order of operations. Hit the box, hit the cone. Done. All right. And what's kind of cool about this, you can actually move this little guy around if you go into uh, W, nope, wrong cone. There we go. And you can move this guy around. You can rescale and, you know, to some degree, not completely. I wouldn't recommend too much of this. Get it where you want to and then, you know, and then don't mess with it. All right, so that's differences. The third one is intersection, which is pretty straightforward. We select, we select, shift select. That's what we're doing here. Intersection, instead of making something like union, you, combining these two, or making a divot inside this, it's going to leave us everything that's this little piece right here. That's it. Okay, just this little piece. Now, I'd say if you want that little piece, why not just cut it, right? So I would say the most effective tool is the cutting tool, which is difference. Difference, I think, is what you're going to end up seeing a lot of professionals using more so than anything else or union. All right, so let's do this. Intersection, done. So there you go. If you want to cut something quick and easy, use the Boolean. But if you're doing animation... You want to be a little bit careful because the Boolean operation is considered non-regular, meaning uh, your mesh is going to be a little bit iffy. As you can see here, we've got triangles. We don't want tri we don't you know triangles aren't necessarily desirable. You want quads, so you know you run into those types of issues, deformers like that. Um, but if you have things that you don't want to deform, that you don't necessarily need to deform later for animation, buildings, background furniture, appliances, inanimate objects, then the Boolean is your ticket to a magical, magical world known as Maya 2018. 
All right, that's it. Union, difference. Union, difference. Union, difference. Intersection. Have a beautiful day.